<laughs> so good. <laughs> There's no way to, tra- to, to to transition this in a funny way into the live show because it's just like it's so good. I good. <laughs> It's now you're good. making it weird. <laughs> or do I make it awkward? There's nothing like a love with a man and a statue. Damn it, I thought that was the transition into the live show. <laughs> what transition Is that my into job? What, uh, what transition into what live show? Hello and welcome everybody to the Awkward <laughs> Cast. Ainwai and Keyframe wonder about random drivel. Welcome to the live show. With Ty Dagger. Hi there. Hello, welcome to the show. Has been Thank quite you. a while since the two of us have been, have been stuck in a podcast for a prolonged period of time. It has been it quite has a been. few the years. the last time actually. your guys' uh, Fallout Equestria yes, podcast? Yes, indeed, indeed. Like in, in, in what, 2014 or something? Brings me back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, for Good the old first, days. Yeah. Oh, back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, welcome to uh, the show for uh, the fact that uh, somebody... Uh, who are you? Uh, what do you do, and why should people care? What's your elevator well, pitch? <laughs> well, uh, what I do is I make videos on YouTube, uh, preferably on my channel, but sometimes for the TF2 analysis anarchy series. Uh, I do a lot of editing, but mostly I just talk about things that I, I want to talk about, usually involved with the MLP community, but really I can talk about anything that strikes my fancy. That, that's a solid elevator pitch. Uh, check it out. Description in the uh, yes. no link in the description down below. For <laughs> uh, yeah, um, but yeah. Besides that, uh, uh, what what's been going on in your life? Anything you want to share? Any anecdotes, bad or good? What happened uh, in the land of the maple leaf? Well, uh, we've been enjoying a hot summer, but uh, for the most part, as far as things have gone, I've just been busy with work, busy with all that. Um, but just trying to keep up with editing as best as I can. You, you TF2 guys keep me really busy, um, so I've been trying to keep up with all of that, but i uh, also been trying to keep up with my own stuff too. So it's been a this, this sort of wacky balancing scenario where I'm not balancing very much. I'm just sort of hanging on. <laughs> That's okay. You're, you're a little kitty holding on yeah, I'm, to... Yeah, I'm, I'm a kitty uh, cat just hanging on. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. I wish I had opposable thumbs. That would make this a lot easier. Well, you have. How do you draw? How do you draw without? You're like Octavia in the in the horse show. You're more impressive because of your disability. Uh, but 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 you, you uh. have. You, but instead, you have uh, extractable, retractable, whatever claws. Claws. But but you have a uh, yeah, and you have little bean toes. So you're oh. automatic. You automatically have a charisma advantage. Yeah, you, exactly. You you have a face that can make more character expressions that humans can interpret. Exactly. We we are kind of uh, uh, losing perspective. Key, what's what what has been going on in your weeks? Uh, what, 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 what? I have I oh, have boy. a lot of small stories in the life of Key. Oh, None boy. of them are depressing. So that's well, it's, good it's only stories about your childhood that are. Uh, uh, well, I mean, depressing. I have depressing stories about this week, but we're not going to look into that because it's real. <laughs> yes. Fair, fair um, enough. Fair enough. No. Uh, so. I've been uh, getting pieces for my Squirrel Girl cosplay in the mail, and I'm so happy about it. A little bit terrified about one of the estimated delivery dates being the Thursday before I leave, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put faith in this. There, it's being mailed from a state away. It should not be a problem. I mean, I mean, depending on how essential this piece is, as long as it's, you're not running around without a top or anything. No, no. I mean, then it's again... A, it's, it's the utility belt. Yeah, but it, it's for a furry convention. Most guys are gay anyway, so. <laughs> um, but I already have the leotard, so the mm-hmm. the one piece that she has, and the tail, and I'm just reusing one of my jackets because uh, I'm cheap. <laughs> and uh, hey. I should be getting, like, my boots and stuff in the mail. But I had a, I had a long, arduous conversation with Miss Kichi about what I'm supposed to cuss. Let me t- let me tell you about the the leotard. Mm. When I bought it, I, w- I I looked up how much um <clears throat> backing coverage it has. You know, uh, coverage in the back. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And As I you th- do. Because I, cause I thought it would be like you know shorts or at least like a bathing suit. Oh, it's like a bathing suit, all right. That you buy from Victoria's Secret. <laughs> um. So 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 you know. I don't mind have wearing a costume like that. I've seen people wear less at conventions. 
My thing is, I was like, okay. Then I woke up the next day, and suddenly I have bruises all over my fucking legs, and I don't know why. <laughs> but the, and this is a common occurrence that I wake up and I have black and blues, and I don't know why. And I put it on Tumblr, and people are either saying that I have diabetes or that there's cats under my bed beating me up at night. <laughs> Do you play rugby in your sleep? No, <laughs> no. I like to think maybe I'm like Natasha Romanoff, only uh, when I'm asleep. So I'm a sleepwalking go. mercenary. Hmm. But like, um, besides that, <laughs> in all in all actuality, it was a, the argument was like, should I wear stockings or not? It, it, normal cosplay conversation. But um, besides that, and so, so also, is um, your current play uh, cu current plan to actually only wear the leotard? I don't, I'm not sure. I'm going to buy the stockings and just see how both of them look and decide the day of and be like, yeah. do I or do <laughs> but, but, I but not? I, I mean like pants or leggings or whatever. Like, Yeah, that's I what mean, stockings are. Ah, okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm stocking like... I, I'm stockings like the things you wear. No, th those th those are knee high stockings. They're stockings that go all the way up to the waist that are like uh, 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 like pantyhose. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Because I was like, the majority of them is gay, but it's still a con. <laughs> and seen, they are perverts. I've seen some of the cosplay reblogs you do on Tumblr. I know. That's tame in comparison. I know. <laughs> And I can make it work. But those girls probably also run around with uh, big muscle, uh, muscly handlers who punch everybody who touches them. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Do I now have to punch people at your ferns? Anyway, so uh, <laughs> I went to go get. I also went to. I had a, a a fun a fun girls' day out with Kichi, to 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 get out of the house because god damn it roommates <laughs> um so because she hasn't seen incredibles 2 yet so oh. i'm like well time to make it three for three because <laughs> i've seen incredibles 2 three times in theaters and i'm proud of it i'm slowly <laughs> becoming a series best um i need to see it like what 20 more times <laughs> but uh so we were just killing two birds with one stone and we were going to the mall and there was this one store in the mall we've always passed but never went to. And it had like Disney stuff in the in the display window. And we were like, oh, this is probably like a, a, a worse version of Hot Topic. We were like, hey, let's step in. It is so much better than Hot Topic. Oh my God. Cause, cause, cause like, okay, so you walk in, they have like a shelf for Deadpool. They have a shelf for uh, Infinity War. They have a shelf for all this stuff. And then they start having weird shit, like a copious amount of products for stuff you don't expect. So you can right. have um, Yu Yu Hakusho, and uh, with like, uh, like two like two shelves of that. Then you have My Hero Academia, Pokemon, two shelves of Scooby Doo merch. Oh boy, I see where <laughs> you go. Shelves, two shelves of Sesame Street and Muppet merch. Hmm. Rocco's Modern Life, just Rocco's Modern Life. Um, other Nickelodeon stuff, and then you know there's the Disney section where. They have stuff for show, for movies that I never see Disney ever advertise. Like, they had stuff for the Goofy movie, but then they had an entire corner dedicated to just Emperor's New Groove. Aww. So, like, a bunch of, so like a bunch of uh, Hawaiian shirts that have, like, a, a Cusco pattern on it. An actual metal llama hair comb, like that, the one that Cusco has at the beginning of the movie. And I'm like, I need this. And I you, want it. And you got it? I, I, haven't bought it. I, I, I haven't bought it yet. I'm going to bring it. I, I am going to buy it, but I had to get the hair dye first. I, I don't it's going to get snatched up real quick. Waiting for the moment where you draw it up like, yeah, I got it. I want to get it. Kichi made me not get it. I could have. Mm. But like, yeah, uh, and it just had a bunch disgusting. of stuff and it had a bunch of like Pocahontas stuff. And, and, and like I said, Goofy Movie, I'm like, where has this store been? Why did I ignore it? <laughs> I'm a terrible human being. Uh, so yeah, I'm going back to that store. I, I was just like, this is such a Southern California store. <laughs> this is such a store that only people who live two hours away from Disneyland should have. <laughs> but uh, besides that, my week's been just generally make it through because next week is when I get to have all the fun. <laughs> hey. 
Uh, but what about you, Maximilian? What anecdotes do you have from your week? Oh, what, what, what do I have from my week? I I had one that I forgot. <laughs> It's always a good wow, that means it must That's have been a great so anecdote. Oh wait, wait! Before you get to yours, I wanted to just say, I wanted to just say, because yeah, we went to go see The Incredibles too. Uh, for three for three. Everyone has had the same reaction to the to the special to the Pixar short that happened before the movie. Uh. Every single one is that because I went to go see it at too many games. All the DA games people were like, "The fuck!" When we went to see it in London, I heard you say. <laughs> oh yeah, I was disturbed. When, when, when we, when me and Kichi were there, I heard Kichi go, "The fuck!" And I'm like, also there was a very loud not child in the back of that theater who would explain every joke when it happened. He Ooh, would be like, "Ha! Ah, it's because Edna thinks the baby's cute." Like, th- th- thank you, audiovisual commentary. <laughs> All right. The director's cut. Oh, yeah, we did. But anyway, <laughs> you're weak. I just wanted to point that out, that everyone apparently is disturbed by the dumpling. Yeah, because it's fucking disturbing. Uh, so, yeah, besides the anecdote I forgot about... I must have got a question. Oh, yeah, yeah, please. The, 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 the one what with dumpling? the antlers. <laughs> oh, uh, what, what dumpling? Should I be worried? Uh, you, it, go, go, go see the Pixar. Go yeah. see Incredibles 2. Yeah, if you haven't... Why, I gotta why go haven't see you? Incredibles 2, then. Yeah, yeah you, have, well, you, don't need, you don't need that to be your excuse to go see Incredibles 2. <laughs> but now, when you go and see it, you will see the movie that aired, the, the short film that aired before, and you will understand why everybody's like, what the fuck? Hmm. Hmm. Well, now I know. I'll be ready. What? Uh, to, to describe, or should I... Is this, does this even count as spoilers? I don't know. To, to, to describe the short in three words, or oh, no, no, not what the fuck, it's three phrases. Let's make it three <laughs> phrases because what the fuck is three okay. What the fuck is this? No, no, in three, three phrases, you start the movie with what the fuck, then the movie continues to what the fuck, and then it is wholesome. It's like, what the fuck? Like, oh, I get it now. <laughs> oh, yes. this I, I was more disturbed by this than many stuff I saw in a long time. I will be I will be honest. <laughs> but yeah, wow. um, my week, my week. Um, so yeah, at least I was able to produce a new fun uh, anecdote just today. I'm, I oh, like boy. Just like that, yeah. Uh, today um, I, I uh, visited my buddy Dustin over uh, here. Oh, Dustin, how's yeah, he doing? He, he is doing fine, he's doing fine. This, I am... Ah, I, I, I'm not entirely sure how to feel about this. Um, uh, so, he, he finally, after f- f- trying to, f- to, to, to get his shit together for uh, a while now, he finally um, uh, came around and made a, a trucker. Tried a lot of stuff, like he even applied for uh, technical support in our in my company and stuff like this. And all did not work out, and he was living off uh, uh, social, whatever it's called, for a while, and then doing small jobs. Welfare, of, essentially. Well, yeah, welfare, yeah. and then small jobs every now and then, but n- nothing lasting, nothing where he was a fixed, uh, uh, had a fixed long time contract. And mm-hmm. now he he found this thing with hey uh, trucker, and apparently. He's starting because truckers are such a rare thing in Germany, such a hard... I'm, I'm, oh, no, me, it's a, it's, it's a, I know everywhere. what you're going to say. It's a rare thing in America, too. Your starting yeah. salary is like $70,000. Yes, yes. Okay, you guys talk in year, I assume. But, uh, oh. yeah, but his starting yeah, a, a salary... Year. His, his, yeah, a year. His starting salary exceeds mine, and I'm like... I'm a fucking system administrator. I fought for the money I get right now, and his starting salary is above mine. And I'm like, what do I? The thing is, I mean, get a get a fucking trucker's license, an Audible account, and you have a chill, good life with money. Well, well it's I mean, a pretty stressful job too. That's the thing, and you do work sort of odd hours half the time and, and long hours. Any, too. You can't have any hobbies and. If you're, you're going to be in places where you don't have actual good internet access. Um, so it's, it's death, pretty much, is what we're getting yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, the thing, the reason why jobs like that pay so much is like, 
Why Nobody. does a, a grave digger actually have a good paycheck? Why do some sanitation workers have a good paycheck? Because they want to pay you more because you're doing the jobs no one wants to do. Yes. Hmm. I guess. I guess. But you get to see the country or see the world or wherever you are. And <laughs> hey, Dustin <laughs> likes photography and recording things, that's, so maybe he can thing. do that. No, that's already a th he showed me some YouTubers today, which are truckers. Um, and they have basically like five or six GoPros around, uh, set up around their truck, like in the cockpit a few, outside a few, and this guy basically records his trips, edits them a little bit together, uploads them on YouTube on a near daily basis, or at least three per, per, per week, 20 to 30 minutes, 30,000 views. Uh, uh, hundreds of thumbs up and a, a really good sub up, sum up quote and I'm like, I don't get it. I, 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 I don't get it. I really don't get it because I cannot... Reality TV doesn't give me anything. I will be honest. Reality TV is for me like... Blah. Uh, uh, I, I, that's why I cannot watch it and I cannot produce it as well because I, I, I don't understand the appeal and there is somebody being outright successful with it. Like having a super solid, dedicated fan base. I'm like, I don't get it! <laughs> well, I guess it's kind of like that. Uh, I remember this was a while back. Maybe this is still going on. There was that live stream of that like one like intersection. I forget where it was in the world. But it was that live stream, just that intersection with nothing really fancy about it. It was just that intersection. But like thousands of people were watching it. And you get the, yeah, you get the same thing because there's a constantly going live uh, cam for Abbey Road. I know there's a lot of beaches in New York that actually have uh, base, essentially traffic cams, and there's always hundreds of thousands of people watching it. People are just interested in seeing glimpses of the world. Yeah, well, it's, it's very I can true. Understand that. I can understand that appeal, but how, key question, how long were these videos? Long, like, like, like 30, 20 to 30 minutes. Oh, I wouldn't be able to digest that. Yeah, I know. And like, are, but are they like talking in it? Are they talking about something like, oh, you know, here's a story as I'm trucking, or is it just like, here's like story uh, time? <laughs> <laughs> like that would actually be kind of cool, but or is it just sort of like a sort of uh, what's it called? Um, like, um, I should have made I should have. Uh, I see. I should have made this my medium. No, it's just him talking like a vlog. Oh, the so it's just I a vlog it's... channel. Okay, yeah. I can yeah, see but, the appeal. But, but, but uh, trucker just in his truck. Talking for a bit. Tank and shrug. Yeah. yeah do, okay, then what's the appeal of people recording stuff on their webcam and talking about and, and talking about their day, their movies, their opinions on things? Yeah, but but hmm. he's. It's because he's a trucker, isn't it? I knew it. Yeah. What, what do you have against <laughs> the people that deliver your yeah, but, things? But this was my, this was my reaction. Like I have a hard time finding stuff to talk about with a show once per week, which I share with other people, and he's talking about random stuff for half an hour every other day anyways this is not my medium let's move on because i because okay this, what is your medium you, you asked no i'm not even at my medium this was still not my anecdote for crying out loud so oh, the original okay. reason to go there was be, you asked me how he's doing i answered the question <laughs> <laughs> but yeah one, why i actually went over there was he invited me to to check out a little bit of his vr because he has an oculus and everything mm -hmm. um, not while driving i hope <laughs> no, uh, uh, he, he has not yet started working, but is about to. Oh, okay. um, no, um, so I uh, uh, played Fallout 4 in VR. Uh, yeah, just a short impression thingy. First of all, it's... <laughs> oh, God damn it! He, he actually sent me pictures. I, sh I should have uploaded them to the computer, then I could have shown them in good quality. It's... Because, ah, come on, uh, quicker, quicker, you can do it, yes. Uh, uh. The funniest thing is about me playing VR, besides it completely ruining my hair. Eh, where's the camera, there's the camera. I, for the most time, I'm just, si I'm, I'm just sitting down and inspecting the uh, textures. You okay. look like a movie star in that right. picture. Oh yeah, I know, yeah. right? <laughs> God, there is no way that anyone can look epic while using a VR set. And, oh well, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there with a... Look, looking halfway uh, decent, like hey, I'm, no, uh, now I'm Tom, Tom Cruise in Minority Report. Anyways, um, 
Yeah, that no. lack of chin really makes you look epic. Yeah, yeah. But, 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 but yeah, so if, half the time I, I spend checking out textures in close up and seeing how certain things function in 3D when you see them like in front of you, which is fascinating, I would admit. And it's also very fascinating how detailed it is in the end of the day. I mean, you have a lot of textures where I'm like, I can tell this is a, oh, I can see the pixels in this wood tick texture over here. But nevertheless, you still keep in mind how this is an entire world around you and you are actually in it. However, oh, here's the thing. You, you recall our experience with the Star Wars thingamagig in... Uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, and I have a weapon in my hand and I accidentally started a shooting and I was like, Flaming then and walking forward, I hear Dustin screaming. I suddenly hugging a screen. <laughs> yeah, because I started walking for real. And he, for 10 minutes, couldn't stop giggling. For 10 minutes, he was like, I need to sit down. I need to sit down. This is like, oh my God. <laughs> this is like one of that, but this is yeah, like but, those fucking pizza roll commercials that are just them in VR destroying yeah, everything. Yeah, but I was like, I had my thing. I had my, this was my weapon. It's, you have just a stick at the end, like a flamethrower, pointing at a guy, started walking, like whoop! And I, I, I have like four square meters in which I can move, and we, I was... we can't trust we can't trust you in an enclosed space. No. Now the question is, did the screen need a hug? Like, was it? In... But yeah, I, I ran it into... emotional. And it was, you I, ran I totally... into the screen. Yeah, into the mm. into his table, and I hold the screen. I was completely blind because I still had the VR on, so I just kept it. I kept holding it. Why blindly. did he take a picture of that? Because he panicked in this moment, but he was like, uh, "Oh shit! Oh shit! I should have recorded that." <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, this this was like, well, the last VR experience I was in, this was actually interactive and I could walk around, you know. Uh, but then I uh, he also gave me free movement originally, like when you, you actually move the stick, like you would with a controller, and you move forward in the game. And I did this like two meters and I was like, whoa, I finally get what everybody is talking about, about when they say, hey, VR or 3D movies or it something gives, gives like, them yeah. nausea and they, they yeah. feel sick. I, I did like three steps and I was like, whoa, fuck, I now know it. I, I, I now get it 100%. <laughs> Holy shit. And he's like, yeah, okay. And he changed it so that um, I jump somewhere. Like I, 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 I pinpoint somewhere and then I jump forward to this point. And actually, yeah, this is, this is a lot easier to digest. Wait, so slingshotting yourself from point to point yes. was less nauseous inducing for you than, than actual life. Yes. It, it's, ba okay. it's, ba it's babies like you that are the reason har Hardcore Henry didn't make a lot of money at box office. But probably, I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, Hardcore Henry was the action film that was oh. entirely shot from POV. Oh, I still want to see this one. Um, it's such a good movie. But everybody, yeah, eventually I started to, to jump for to slingshot myself forward so quickly that I started to feel the feeling crap back up because I was moving so fast. <laughs> but yeah, overall, I would say it's a very interesting experience, but it will not replace uh, keyboard and mouse for me anytime soon because it's like turning around, you can either turn around in real time, which eventually gets you in issues with the cable. So you have a second stick with which you can turn yourself around. So it's like turning around, feeling, oh, is this going too far? Using the stick and then the immersion is very hard to get used to. So I was overall a lot slower, a lot more clumsy. I mean, it's probably a thing. How many hundreds of thousands of hours have I put into controlling a keyboard and mouse? So obviously being in a VR for the first time feels like, oh, I need to learn, move, I need to learn moving. All over again. What if, oh. what if you had like a virtual like keyboard and mouse? It's like you look down with your headset. It's like, oh, there it is. Next level. V <laughs> next level VR. There you that's go. just that. Uh, see, that's the that's. That's VR made by stubborn I, programmers. I, I mean, <laughs> aren't the majority of VR games games in which you um, actually uh, 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 do mundane jobs, but in VR? Oh, I can, this is a cook simulator. Oh my god, I'm a cook now. Look like, at me being a cook. Like, the only like middle ground I can imagine where you're using VR and you can also use keyboard and mouse is stuff like horror games, where the only reason you have a VR is to immerse yourself so you can actually turn your head for the horror element. But, meh. <laughs> Shout out to museum games, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the movie. Enjoy the movie. 
Thank you. Or else. Markiplier started playing uh-huh. that and... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a small thing, I, uh, a small anecdote, uh, a news uh, a news I came across this week. Uh, for uh, uh, for anybody who has ever... <laughs> shake down. Uh, for anybody who has ever uh, heard me complain about... Uh, certain conditions of being a German, which suck. I mean, I, I actually tried to do an entire series on sucks to be German. I only, I got out the pilot and then I was like, I gave up the entire channel. Um, yeah, one of the big topics I wanted to talk about was censorship of video games in Germany because, yay, this is this is a fucking pain and apparently Steam got the, uh, some, some, some screws set on it and they allegedly started even censoring old games you got from a different country this was my trick for the longest time i want to have a nice game i go to steam and it has this yellow bar this orange bar which is like warning this game is not available in Eng- is only available in german censored version and i'm like wow <laughs> there's got to be a way around it though right? the, the, the way around it was to go like Hey, there is this really cool game, but it's censored in Germany. You, international friend, could you please buy and gift me this game and I pay you back? Worked for me. This is how I got uh, a handful of games uh, that have been censored in Germany uh, in a decent way. Also, censorship got more loose over the years, um, which is a prime example where it stopped. Uh, Fallout. Fallout. Fallout 3. The exploding heads have been censored in German. You don't see them. Uh, in Vegas, they, they already loosened it up and it was fine to see exploding people. So yeah, I have Fallout 3 as a gifted version from a friend while I have Fallout Vegas as my own uh, game, uh, as, as a game that I could buy myself. And it's still in English and not censored and yada, yada, yada. Uh, Nazi symbols are still a very, very big no-no because we have in our constitution rules that are like uh, outside of certain context those are forbidden. So certain contexts mm. are obviously history, museums, history books, and so on, because it's not a good idea to uh, lie about your own past. Be true to it only so you can learn from it. Anyways. Um, this is why you don't have stick of truth. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, yeah. But, 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 but yeah. Um, and uh, movies, art. Art is also allowed to express it, uh, like Schindler's List is obviously a, a movie uh, with a lot of Nazi symbols, and it's fine in Germany. And, and uh, what else do we have? Hellboy, it's still Nazis getting killed, and uh, whatever. Movie glorious bastards. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so yeah, the Nazi symbolism in movies and stuff and literature is all fine because that's art. But video games have always gotten the short end of the stick to very ridiculous amounts. I mean, there are videos out there. Go, go to YouTube, look for videos about censorship in Germany, where uh, w- one of the most brilliant ones is where they have an obvious Hitler, but they did got the mustache out and photoshopped sunglasses over him and just gave him a, a, a title like The Leader, while all the other characters on a similar level had names. Good, good job. Nobody will know so, who that is. Uh, but yeah. So what do they class like video games as? Because they must class it as something different than I, like movies or, you know, art. So I, I, I don't know. Um, as something, games, whatever. Uh, but the thing is, the law that forbids uh, uh, the cr- swast- uh, use of swastika is, uh, applies to it. And uh, so the thing is that they need to create German versions anyway. So... One of the classic ones was that you have just a big red flag with a white circle in it and there's something missing. Fair, mm, okay. uh, easy enough, but uh, uh, often enough it comes paired with an only or German audio. And this is where it starts for me to, to fall apart. Then the, the entire gore censorship we had for a long time, which sa- thankfully started, started losing up by itself. So yeah, but long story short, this week I got an article linked about uh, 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 alleged changes that are about to happen in the German market where they will actually uh, um, uh, uh, start considering video games as part of the exception to the rule as well. So hopefully in the future... Wolfenstein's uh, and stuff will not be uh, completely mutilated because the German version of I heard Wolfenstein 3D uh, no Wolfenstein New Order is supposed to be one of the best games of the, its year and I have never touched it due to the fact that I'm like yeah hey, I, I will not play the German version fuck you 
I if I play a game where I'm an overpowered Nazi killing uh, power power fantasy, I want to see gore and I want to kill Nazis. Okay, it's the little things, you right? Th- you yeah. think they would? You think they would encourage it? It's like. Yeah, you don't, you don't, we, we, the, these Nazis don't represent us. In fact, we're killing all of them. Yeah, you yeah. would think so, wouldn't you? But don't kill them, though, no, no. Yeah, yeah, uh. I mean, like, it, look, it's not as bad as Australia, who, oh, because God, they yes. forgot oh. to make an M rating, they just would not allow M rated games. Oh, oh, Seriously? I mean, Is that Aus- what they do now? Australia, Australia. No, that's what, I think they've changed it a bit over time, but it's same general consensus. I mean, I, I, I will not lie that, yeah, I say it sucks to be German, and I'm sincere about it, and I say that the video game situation in Germany is ass, but yeah, Australia might actually be worse. So, Maybe. It could be. <laughs> I, I haven't looked in, I'm not living there, so, but what I heard from, for example, uh, the, uh, Yahtzee, Zero Point Creation Yahtzee, when he was still living in Australia and his complaints were like, yeah, this sounds like real shit. Um, like, like, even worse than the German shit. At least we get then again, the, they, they do drug censoring and this kind of bullshit. <laughs> Why we have the Witcher and we get to see titties in Germany. Anyways, Keyframe, what is your <laughs> medium this week? Oh, wait, I, I actually have it ready. So and I'm surprised that you're not doing your media. Uh, uh, you, you, you may go first with your medium, so... Oh, well, um, mine is a short film. It's not the dog blanket. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one's actually a short film made by our favorite resident, uh, resident plier, Markiplier. Ooh, um, he's been making, like, a series of videos, like, because he did, like, this Who Killed Markiplier thing back last year. It's and this is on the his channel and everything. Yeah, th- and this is, the, this is the next installment of it. And it actually makes a semi-serious, interesting noir st- backstory for his silly Wilfred Warfstash character, the thing with the pink mustache. Mm-hmm. And that's a uh, rice pirate, a very uh, famous um, voice actor and animator on the platform, playing the detective. Oh and my yeah, the <laughs> the basic plot is that uh, Wilfred Warstash, who used to be known as the Colonel, uh, almost killed this guy, and that he's been track trying to track down all the different um, identities that he's had, and the current identity is Wilfred Warstash, which he finds at a disco. Hmm. And this and this is such a well shot, well written, well directed and acted special. Yeah, I know without audio you can't really tell, but it's so good. And this was actually written by Markiplier and mostly directed by him too. Hmm. And it's and it's so many times people say YouTubers don't have talent. We jet, especially for the Let's Player community. And you know, in some cases, that's true. They only have their personality. But Mark is one of the examples of he actually is a purely creative soul that and, and who has great yeah. timing and who has great timing and also just great on screen presence. Yeah, he does. I mean, I'm yeah. only watching this short clip and it's already like, yeah, I can see it. He, he is legitimately funny. Oh, yeah, and I'm it. not going. Uh, yeah, and I'm not going to spoil the story yeah, yeah. and how it and how it ends because it actually puts you through a loop. Mm-hmm. I just really recommend this, and I think I'm so happy that Mark and other people like like Game Grumps and and people that started as you know the easy to make content has the availability now to to expand past that and do bigger things that they want to do. And I feel like that's the small, that's the ever slow shift in the platform that we are going back to more higher effort content. While there always are going to be those vloggers, those Logans, those Jakes, those Lele's and all that stuff. You have people who are the bigger people in exploring bigger, uh, longer form content like Mark, like the Mm -hmm. Grumps, like all that. And then you have the rise of trends like the animation community coming back in the way that they are, which is even though people constantly be like, it's not real animation, all this sh- shit, it's personality driven, we want the Oni and G's and Ego Raptors back, it's still a higher form of, higher form effort content, helping each other and bringing animation onto the fucking trending page. So, I just, uh, I, I, I know Markiplier is not the person that needs encouragement, but 
compared to like his let's play views, yes, this needs more encouragement. Support higher effort content. Yeah, and link obviously down in the description below. So no spoil, no further spoilering of this. Is there a title card? <laughs> Does it have a title card? No, it doesn't. Hmm. Doesn't Tragic. have a title card. Yeah. I I'm sure there's something in the credits, but let's not put that on the screen okay, because too, the credits are a huge. The credits are a spoiler. So fair enough, fair enough. So let's look at this black and white. But yes, uh, actually sounds interesting. Wait, let me let me be a good example. <gasps> watch me I click on nothing. this button <laughs> and add it to my watch later list. Click. Yay! Now it's officially I would, I, in I my watch actually, later I would list. I would actually like to hear your thoughts on it because it's a very funny film noir. Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, uh, and so that everybody in the live chat can do it as well. I put the link to the video in the live chat, so all of you who is who are not watching it on YouTube can also put it in yes, your watch please, later list. Yeah, I'm just gonna say this. Please give this more views than meow, woof, or moo. <laughs> Those dumb <laughs> videos that he has on his channel. That's just him photoshopping his I mean, lips and After Effects on animals. I mean, we are close to two million. Let's see what his best is. Sorted by most if popular. Mo if, if most popular is Meow, I'm going to be annoyed. Oh, no, it's uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, no, yeah, there's... 70 yes. million per... Oh, look, look, there's Meow. Yes, and Meow, meow has 46 million views. How much, does million. How much does Woof have? Woof has 38 million views. So yeah, his his new video only needs to have like wait, how many? We are we are close to 200 uh, to to 2 million. So it only mm. needs to have a uh, uh 2500% uh, uh increase in 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 watch in clicks. We'll have that by next quarter. Hey. Yeah. I mean, at least it has a good like to dislike ratio. That's all that's important. Hey, that's a good question. How is the how is the dislike video from Meow? Oh, what is God, it? They love it. It's it's one million up to fifteen I mean, down. To <laughs> be fair, to be fair, I remember on my on my birthday weekend, I showed you all three of the Meow, Wolf, and Moo, and I, you I were believe... laughing. You, you were laughing. I I, I I I could imagine. I was also drunk, wasn't I? <laughs> okay, it's funny. Anyway, okay, you're, la you're laughing. No, I'm not. Anyways. Uh, 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 Ty, do you want to present your medium or should I? Uh, you go ahead. I didn't actually prepare a medium. I then, a then, Hi. then, uh, no one told me. You're, you have three weeks Key. to prepare. Nobody told me. Did you not show him the video? No, Nobody. I just, I gave him the summary. Give, you gave me a summary? We have a video yes, for I that. Did. We have a how to no offer video. No one watches this. No, they watch it. They just forget where it, what it's about, which is why I rescripted it, and we totally still need to go over the script to figure out how we record it. Anyways, my medium. Uh, 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 it, it it came. So, Key will already be able to guess what it is. Yeah, go ahead. And it's wrong because it's not that cell. <laughs> oh yeah, you said you were. You said on the pre-show you had yeah. a YouTube channel. That's, that's true because uh, let's face it, I could talk about dead cells. I could say what every single video game reviewer on the entire internet already said: smooth controls, great graphics, fantastic character, blah blah blah. It's all true. It's a fantastic game. Go get it. Um, but uh, oh, watch my watch my uh, um, now nah, uh, let's play of it. Uh, of Gaming and Ties, uh, uh, Dead Cell. Uh, it will actually only come out in a few weeks on my Let's Play channel, but because it's you guys, I give you the link already down in the description below. Um, let's see how many people actually will watch it now. <laughs> Sneak peek. You see some. It, it, it doesn't even have a title yet and everything. It's the description is still shit on the video, but you get the <laughs> link still from me because I love That's how you beta so it is. much. Donate to my Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, where was that? Yeah, so that's a, I don't have anything original to say about it. It's a fantastic game. Go play it. Um, so uh, uh, no, my my medium this week is actually something I by by coincidence came across yesterday. I started watching it yesterday and I continued it today or something. Is a channel by the name of Max Derrett. And what I specifically want to recommend on the channel, what is the thing that I'm watching, which you can probably tell by the red bars, which indicate what I have been watching. Um, 
Ironically, he has it in a playlist, but his playlist is in the wrong. Hello. Order. It's in the wrong order, so his playlist is exactly. Oh no, here no, it's it's in the wrong order. This playlist puts the newest one on top, which is for an ongoing series. Like the exactly one hundred percent wrong order, um, but so so yeah, I, I I would recommend I will link the first I will I pro probably link this page of the playlist, but then you still have to work your way backwards through it. Um, still an interesting watch. Why? Oh, there's one I have missed because it's not one of the numbered videos. Anyways, uh, focus. Uh, it's a, uh, the video. Of this Max Derrett guy is uh, has Asperger's. And he made basically the truth about Asperger's syndrome, and he made uh, a very point of view uh, approach to it. I mean, if there are probably a million bazillion scientific studies and whatnot, and especially people without Asperger's talking about what Asperger's is. Um, but no, he actually has it, and he talks uh, in a few different steps about uh, his perspective, what it's actually like to have it, and uh, which for somebody like me, who, who, who really only knows Asperger's as, a, 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 as an outsider looking in, like, like I, I mean, I, I, especially while watching this, this series, I caught myself often, I, 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 I memorized back to points where I was also like, oh, that's so typical Asperger behavior and stuff like this. And, but, but still missing the, uh, missing the link of, hey, that's, uh, he, here's the actually shitty side uh, uh, for them to go through because they literally, I mean, he, he doesn't give any explanations why or how he just points out like, yeah, he cannot read normal emotions that people, the, the, the reading of other people, which the majority of us gets born with, they simply cannot do it. They, they, they look at somebody and don't understand what they mean with this gesture, that uh, um, the 90% of our communication that happen non-verbally, they, they literally cannot interpret them. There's something missing in their brain that they cannot interpret it. And um, having it told first person from somebody who actually is now an adult and can with his own retrospect talk about it uh, was something very interesting for me to see. He also, fun, fun fact, he also has in the uh, description of each of his videos uh, a link to an online test, which is obviously not a... a, a um, uh, an actual uh, diagnosis. Yeah, it, it, it's not a valid diagnosis, obviously, but uh, you can still do this test and see if uh, uh, you might want to check yourself out. So yeah, um, so uh, for all the haters out there, uh, I have very, very tragic news. Uh, obviously I did the test. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it turns out that uh, against all uh, odds and uh, I don't have Asperger's, I'm very sorry. ADHD is still out for debate, however. Still might have, still, still might have a little bit of ADHD or OCD. We, Give, send me a good test and then I will know. Um, <laughs> sorry. The test, it, the test is you finishing the test if you have ADHD. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, do, you do like the first three questions and you'd be like, ooh, wisecrack, but I'll do a video. <laughs> I mean, I, I just rewatched my uh, recent upload of the Terraria video where I literally am like, ooh, a squirrel, and I run after the squirrel, so I'm not entirely sure if I... <laughs> <laughs> there might be something to it. Um, no, but uh, Asperger is something I do not have, but yeah, whatever. Uh, also, uh, uh, maybe something that goes with it, because I am a third person, a uh, uh, third party who looks into this video and is like, oh, this is very interesting. Um, other people who have Asperger's, uh, maybe check this video out, tell if, leave a comment down below and tell me how accurate those are, because right now, those videos are, are, are basically the, 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 my, my main idea of Asperger I have. So if this guy is a complete outlier among the Asperger people and is talking complete shit, please tell me because I believe what this guy says. I, I kind of want to have Brett watch these now and see if he's... <laughs> I mean, the thing is, it's like, of course, everybody's going to experience it differently. It's not going to be the same for one person, whereas maybe it's different for another. I mean, that's why um, they call it the spectrum. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, obviously, if you're going to get different perspectives that way, which is also a good thing, too. Um, for those of us who aren't affected by it, it's nice to have that sort of insider perspective so we can sort of empathize and understand exactly what they're going through. So it's just nice to have that. So definitely, mm. uh, that's a good thing. It's good that people are making videos like that to sort of share their experiences with other people. It's it's nice. I like that. Mm -hmm. And and once again, in a very 
explain anyway. So it's it's not just one rant, one guy ranting incohesively. No, he's actually you, you see it's an ongoing series. He has a topic for each one, and he he. At the end of the second half of all his videos are personal anecdotes. So, hey, this is how it felt to me in my teenage years. This is that, this is that. And it's like, holy shit. <laughs> for, for me personally, like from a completely egocentric point of view, watching this series uh, mostly today was uh, like, wow, am I glad that I don't have it. <laughs> this, this was my personal takeaway. But on the other hand, what this means is if you then sprinkle a little bit of... Uh, um, not emphasis, uh, M, M for... Empathy. Empathy. Oh. If you sprinkle a little bit of empathy in your, oh, I'm glad that I don't have it in there, you are like, holy shit, those poor guys, I should be nicer to them. <laughs> like, like maybe I should stop being an asshole. <laughs> it's, uh, but yeah, uh, um, also fun fact about him, uh, like his channel has 20k viewers, but those particular videos have like, oh, the first one has 200,000 viewers, uh, okay. views. So and the last one is actually just came out yesterday. So, so he so he has the inverse thing of he has a higher view count than his sub count. At least for his first video, for this 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 newest one, not yet. Um, mm -hmm. Many of his videos fall flat. So this or mm, no, this this was specifically for this series where he has a very high, uh, but falling. Yeah, first one two hundred thousand, second one mm -hmm. eighty thousand. Yeah. But yeah, uh, link, link in the description down below. And uh, Ty, your time is up, buddy. Well, um, well I don't yeah. have anything prepared per se, but That's fine. I do have a channel that I want to share because okay. I've been watching this guy now recently. Uh, where would be the best place to link just in the, in the chat? Oh, yeah, in, 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 in Skype. In, in Skype. Or then Twitch. I, or Skype. 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 Skip. Then I can just click there. Let's see, hopefully that works. Um, that should work. It's Ooh. called Sam Onella Academy. There we go. Um, Ooh, with classic and music. And so what they... Yeah, so what they do is uh, this guy, he makes like these uh, really sort of like, I don't want to say cheaply edited because the newer ones are oh. actually pretty well done, but like they're very sort of quick, easy to digest videos about just about anything. And it's like really funny and sarcastic and like you can get sucked up into these videos. It's so, like every like morning. Cows. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry. That was <laughs> a two oh, move. That was sorry. <clears throat> Bless you. Ah. Uh, but yeah, so it's like, it, it's sort of, it's really nice to learn about like lots of sort of different unique subjects. And especially like if you have like maybe five or 10 minutes in the morning before you go to work or school or something, watch one of these videos, learn something new, and hey, you've got something to talk about. It's all good. Oh, I, I can imagine that. That sounds actually interesting. Yeah, so I definitely recommend it. Uh, it's a very popular channel too, so. Where's the crossover with the, these people and casually explains with their poorly drawn <laughs> stick figures? Yeah, I just wanted to say it reminds me very much of it. I mean, this guy has, oh, the casually explained also has hair, but it's just sticking out of his head, isn't it? Yeah, he only has like like Homer Simpson hair. I think the difference with casually explained and uh, this guy is that like with casually explained, it's more about sort of uh, non-tangible subjects like relationships and uh you know, fa I'm just looking mm -hmm. on the page, like fashion and stuff and like moving out. It's sort of things that like happen within your life mm -hmm, versus mm -hmm. uh, this guy who talks about like actual like history and he talks oh. about like things that have happened or, or things like that, you know, or factual stuff versus more opinion things. Huh. Mm. So, yeah, this, this, this uh, was a uh, this was really an awkward cast where I have a lot of topic uh, where, uh, where I have a lot of new media I want to check out now. <laughs> Yay, I'm glad that yeah. we got that. But also, gosh, Ty, the way you talk really is like your content. Very bite-sized and to the point. Yes. So Thank I you. guess we I guess we move on to fan uh, questions. Oh yeah, talk, we, still need, we still need a theme song. Oh yeah. Rob, yeah. where are you? Rob, Rob is back from uh, uh, America. Yeah, so Rob. Yeah, Rob's back from his world travels. Rob, make us a make us a, a quick little ditty to answer questions to. With or make it or make it or make it like a four minute long epic song, and then we have to sit through it awkwardly. But while but, it but uh, doesn't this already exist? Well, we have the awkward cast theme song, but we don't have one for just answering questions. Or do we? Do we? Da, da, da. Come on, play it. <laughs> <laughs> and copyright striked for using. <laughs> yeah, this this runs in the Time background. Now we ask to questions. Answer questions now. This this will continue now. 
Um, okay, well... Um, this is not distracting at all. So... <laughs> So please read questions. We God, this is like speech. This is like speech jammer. Okay, so I'm going. We got. Wait, I don't think we got anything on Twitter. I, I, Thank I believe you people so. for using the Discord. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm also like on the one hand, I'm like, hey, it's cool that the the Discord call. It's not like we don't get questions. It's like, oh no, we got one question on Discord. Uh, on, 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 Twitter. On, on, on Twitter, just 30 minutes ago, so whoever was it, just caught in last minute. And I don't recognize his profile at all, so it might be one of Ty's people. So uh -oh. may, so, so we, we might give... <laughs> then again, the question is very generic. Rom, a.k.a. Dissecto Music, asks, uh, any favorite bands slash musicians? Okay. Uh, I believe we uh, had hey. we had this a few times already, didn't we? We've had we've had different variations, but you know what? We have different guests, so I guess That's we can. Very true. We can, That's we, very and, true. And our tastes shift over time. Um, I guess. Uh, I guess what I'm liking right now at the time. Oh, actually, th actually, this goes into a thing. I've been listening to a new. Uh, it's not a new band but it's a band that i've been getting more into because they released a new album mm -hmm. uh it's an animated band called salvonic which is actually made by uh the people who did like mr weevil so like the oh. badger 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 oh, and they've yeah. released I saw a, you they link two videos at least now yeah because i've been i listened to them in the music lounge but they have a new album called neon and it is so fucking good um <laughs> And and they the, what they're doing is that they're actually animating every song on the album to tell a story in their music videos. So if you want to see some of their newest stuff, uh, Broken and Highlights is on their channel, and it's so good. I, I always support animated bands, and yeah. it's it's that kind of EDM ish music that I like because I'm kind of picky about it, but it's really good. So that's a, that's the band I'll promote. <laughs> that's the that's band you promote. Can I find it in time? No, I cannot. Yeah, just uh, do you not know how to put in Salvonic? Need the Japanese music back on. I don't know how this stuff is spelled, but but yeah. Uh, you, oh, and I probably should share this visually. Oh yeah, that's the driver. Oh. Wait, but but. I, Hold on, I'll I'll just link broken into the into the into the chat. Oh yeah, broken was the one I was looking for actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Do the linky. That's so trippy. The linky. <laughs> Here you go. Oh yeah, so like their first their first album, which um, was more like very, the best things about the music videos are the colors, and Neon oh. has a lot of this vapor wave-ish, very 80s uh, party hard uh, color schemes mm. going on in it, and I love it. Oh, he has a trick how we might not get caught. Fuck, making it quicker and silent. Okay, he has to be <laughs> but, but like I love the effects that they're doing. Yeah. And it's and, so weird wow. that this is animated by Mr. Uh, by by Weeble. I mean, for... I mean, it's not it's not animated, but it's directed by Weeble. Oh, um, okay. I think the the person who did these music videos is Creed, and then the P person who did uh, the Driver, Wandering Eye, a lot of stuff from the Red album yeah. is uh, Peebo, who who does uh, who did a lot of other stuff for. Um, the Weeble channel, like the yeah. Johnny Massacre video, I, and anything that looks smooth is probably yeah. Peebo. Yeah, but I, I mean, when when I hear Weeble, I sing. Badger. Horse is amazing. <laughs> Give it a lick. I know, isn't that such a shift in quality that you have this and then you go to that? So oh, is that the same wait. animator? Is that what I'm getting here? It's yeah. not that, well, okay. Weeble is the person who composes the music. He's the he plays the male singer in this, and he directs the animations that did all the character designing. He just gets different animators for it. And his wife is the uh, is the blonde singer, huh. who is okay. usually the lead singer too. So uh, yeah, get, check out Salvonic. That is one of my new my favorite new bands wait, coming wait. up. I actually need to put this in the description now, don't I? Yeah. Savlonic, Savlonic, whatever. Put yeah, put it down, put it down. I did my job. Ay. But uh, but any 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 music you guys have been listening to recently that you wanna <laughs> give plugs? Re recently, that's an interesting uh, spin on it. I like it. New. Um, uh. Or re re music you recently discovered for yourself? Um, I probably didn't. I never do. 
Yeah. I mean, all I know is that every, when I put the two cellos links into the music lounge, I just went on Twitter and was like, A and Y like two cellos. Oh, I, I like two cellos uh, for quite two a while. Two cellos however. is great. Yeah, it is. Uh, anything else? <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. At, at, mute, uh, at work, I usually just listen to either uh, my usual epic long playlist or to stuff that other people play in the music launch of my discord so uh, uh varying levels of quality oh yes we are looking at you sleeping quill uh oh, it's... <laughs> but what about you ty what's uh, what's some music well, that you could recommend in canada land well uh the, the national anthem for one um <laughs> I, I, I don't actually look for a lot of new music. Uh, what I've been listening to recently are like these old Moss albums, um, which is a rapper. Mm -hmm. So if you're into that, I can I can link it. But most people aren't, so I don't usually. Now, um, what what do you, what down dirty rapping do you listen to, dear? Oh, the downest and dirtiest by far. Oh. It's it's my favorite uh, genre of music, so it's that's that's what I listen to. Really? But, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't expect. Okay, I didn't expect yeah. that. Now you know, and now I've got to go into hiding again. Thanks, guys. Well, All right. Well, thank you for that one Twitter question. Yeah. Onwards to the to the Discord I know, people. But I, I came across another. This is German, so it's a little bit hard, but uh, it's basically don't be an ass. I can get that from it. Don't be an ass. But yeah, if you look at the main character of this video, he's basically an ass. Oh. He's an ass face. Like like a little Oh, little. okay. I so, thought he was just a rock. No no no, he's he he's an ass. He's literally an ass. And the video oh, is like don't okay. <laughs> See, mine does not look like that. Yeah. <laughs> well it's his his art style like bleh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Is that a panda? Yeah. Hey, kein oh. Arsch! <laughs> Sei kein Arsch! Uh, yeah, okay, it, this it, is it, a this is a this is a formal request from Keyframe of the Awkwardcast. Stop asking us music questions, or else we're going to get more music like that from him. So. <laughs> Yay! Foreign songs are fascinating. He, he, no, he, he, here's the fun thing: this guy is actually more uh, a, a, a comic, uh, an artist. Uh, he, he usually draws draws comics, but he also has animated versions of it on his YouTube. Uh, and every now and then, he does music videos for some unexplainable reason. And the amazing thing is, I saw the title of it, which is just like "Thy kind are so don't be be no ass." And I looked at that. This sounds very unusual for him. This is a music video, isn't it? Clicking it. Yeah, it's a music video. <laughs> you know what? I know how he did it. It's to be on the Awkward cast, of course. Oh, that that was the he, he, plan he, all along. I, yeah. I, I, I know. This uh, nearly a million subscriber German channel uh, uh, did it to get on the Awkward cast. It's smart that niche audience that they're smart, after. Smart so, cookie, smart cookie indeed. Speaking, speaking of Germans, yes. Katrina Hood in the Discord asks... A and Y on a scale of it's obviously fake, but I can tolerate it. To oh dear God, stop using that accent. How bad is your American accent? <laughs> oh, howdy, partner. I was actually hoping you would take this one for last because this is, would have had a very perfect awkward ending. But also, it's like totally not a thing I would do on a regular basis. So I don't really know why you're asking me about this. Like totally. Uh-uh-uh, I don't think this is an appropriate question for me to ask you, uh-uh. I like how you had three to show, but those were not bad. What? I mean, the southern the southern one can actually pass off as, like, an old southern, like, like the like the crazy guy in Gravity Falls being like the, oh, hey, hey, yeah, gay him. <laughs> There's but gold like, in these hills. <laughs> yeah, like an old prospector. The first one could actually work, and then it just... Took a huge dip in quality as it went forward. I don't know what that last one was supposed to be. Was that supposed to be a sassy black woman? I don't know. I, it's basically the... Because the... it just sounded like a more flamboyant German, honestly. I mean, I was entranced. I don't know about you, but I was. It did something for me. I think I've lived with this for four years, and I can't... And now I'm desensitized to it. <laughs> It's like seeing the characters at Disneyland without their heads. 
But uh, thank you for that question. I hope that gave you a clip for Twitch. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay. Starflash asks, ah, I can't talk, asks, uh, what was your absolute best day ever and what was your absolute worst day ever? I'm going to add the caveat of in recent memory because I don't want to get too depressing. (laughs) How about, how about how about a, a defining worst day is just a day where nothing went your way. <laughs> You're no good, terrible, awful day. Not like my dog got run over. Hmm. My I'm best day, my dog got run over. Don't worry, he was an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> it's like, um, well, that was the best. Well, we'll get to the worst, though. Uh, um, um, I'm trying to think. I mean, I remember my, one day specifically. This was not too long ago. This was maybe, I mean, I say not too long ago, about two years ago. And I remember, I don't even remember what the video was because I was so frustrated. So I was editing a video and I, it was maybe like eight minutes long. I was like seven minutes of it done. And like, you know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I see the light at the end of the tunnel and then my computer crashes. Well, that's no problem. I'm sure. I'm sure Sony Vegas saved it. No, no worries. So I, I turn it back on, and it, no, Sony Vegas didn't save it. So I was like, whew, you know, I'm mad, but Deep again, breath. I can, I can recoup from this. I can get, I can come back. So what I did is, I, okay, I said, okay, I'm gonna redo this. I'm gonna rework this. So I start editing again. I'm like three minutes in. I've been putting hours and hours into this. My computer shuts off again, and it didn't save again. <sighs> And I just, I, I was like, I don't get mad often. I don't get frustrated often. But I, 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 I have to admit, I lost my cool. I almost turned to drinking. Um, and oh I, I scrapped the video. I just said, you know what? We're done. We're done. Fuck it. And I didn't go back to editing for like two weeks. Because I was just so frustrated at the oh. whole situation. I was, I was livid. And I mean, it's the little things. It's like. You know, people might think that's not a big deal, but it's like it's losing that much work and that much time and effort not to see the final product and like being that close and it's slipping from your grasp. Oh, it's the worst. So I have to say in recent memory, that's probably been my probably blah, blah, blah. That's probably my worst day uh, that I can think of, at least just off the top of my head. So, I'd have so, to probably. So, so when you say you scrapped the video, like the video never came out. Due it to doesn't it? even I don't even remember what the topic was now. Oh, oh that's boy. that's how scrapped it was. Like, um, I deleted the script, I deleted everything, I just said, nah, nah, it's over. And uh, it was, in fact, over. No tombstone, just a shallow Let's grave see. for that video. What was my worst day of first world problem yeah. worst day? <laughs> let, let, we could call it that. What was our first world problem worst day? I think mine was also an editing story. Oh, the fun. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, so I was making that season six um, finale prediction thing. And we had plenty of time to work mm-hmm. on this. I was I was having a good time. I was practicing. New. Keep in mind, this is still while I had my old potato, 14-year-old computer. And I was working on it. And then EQD puts out a lovely article. The last four episodes of MLP Season 6 will be aired in a day-by-day bomb this weekend. <laughs> I did not sleep for a day and a half to finish the video. And I think that, vi- I don't know how long that video is. That It's a longer video. It's one of the longer, longer videos on my channel that's not an audio play. And it's a highly edited video. And I got it out an hour before the finale premiered in London. And what made me angry though, besides, see, the thing that made me happy, we were right about some things and I love the fact that we were. And then some comments were like, your theory was better than what actually happened. But the thing that got me fucking annoyed to high heaven was, you guys do realize the finale came out already, right? And I'm like, Uh, no, and I guess I guess the only things that tie with that is freaking recently uh, people commenting on my speed paint videos. The videos where I show my process of working on intricate pieces. Hey, with... hey, Key. Hey, 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 hey Key. key. Hey. Thunderblight's yeah, here. Yeah, Thunderblight is back. Thunderblight, Key, Key, do something. Thunderblight. And, I, and, and I'm just like, hmm, hmm. It was like, it was like Thunderblight comment, Thunderblight comment, someone hitting on me, Thunderblight comment. And I'm like, why? I, I saw the screenshot. Even the guy in the middle hitting on her. It, it actually happened. 
until yeah, later. Yeah, and, and 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 then to put the cherry on the cake, the, the same day I got, I'm pulling up the email. Oh <laughs> yeah. I'm not going, going to say. I'm not going to say the person's name. I mean, they didn't give me their real name, mind you. Okay. So, um, th- this is a one sentence email. Oh, the best. Greetings, Keyframe. Tis I, King Skyger Sturge. I was just wondering if you know if Blissey had any open commissions. <laughs> we are losing time. <laughs> oh my god, you're like, um, you're like Bliss's assistant at this point. I should be! You may as well be. Are, is she paying no, you? You know, you know, you know what? Screw, screw Dr. Wolf being like, I'll help her out with getting funds. No! I'm the one no. with actual business sense. I should be her agent. Blissey, I mean, they're going to you already. <laughs> yeah, they're already emailing me. I could be your secretary. I, I already organize all the fucking guests for this podcast, for this shit show. I could do this too. Like, I'm just like, that angered me. I mean, I'm laughing about it now, but I was legitimately mad when I got well, what, that what email. Did, what did you respond back with? I didn't respond back with anything yet because oh. I don't want to be a dick. But it's like, they emailed my business contact. Excuse me, could you tell me what this other artist, uh, if this other artist, your, your competitor slash friend slash rival, whatever, if they have open commission, I mean, your stuff is fine too, but how about theirs? I mean, I, they, are too, they are too high and mighty for me to actually even, just... to even write to them personally because they are so glorious. They are like God. But, but you're approachable. You, you, yeah, you are, you're approachable human. Who, who, do, 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 do you even art? Do, do you even art? Maybe yeah, maybe that's a compliment. Maybe they find you approachable, and that's a good thing. Let's look at the Why positives. Why do they know me on DeviantArt? Why are they contacting my business? They, it's also how they just word it. Greetings, Keyframe. Tis I. And it's like, are you trying to role play with me? Because that's not making it any better, buddy. But yeah, so it's not really the worst day ever. Just disheartening moments of my life that just make me like why why do i make content <laughs> um what about you what was what's a first world problem worst thing for you i i, I mean, do, that's, do, yeah, that's just your everyday I, life i, I, oh, I know how about <laughs> skype <laughs> due, 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 yeah. due to the fact that i have a memory of a walnut uh it oh. only reaches literally one week back, so obviously it's my <laughs> anger about Skype last week. Well, 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 talk about it, because some people haven't seen the pre-show for that, uh, where you were just raging and, the entire time. Uh, a lot of it even happened before the pre-show, but I... <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so, okay, new Skype that they are pushing on everybody is shit. It's like like legitimate shit. It's, it's inferior in every direction. Uh, you guys yeah. have probably been aware how they, with, I believe, starting Windows 8, where like... Yeah, mobile is the future. Good, good, good for realizing Windows. So, but what does this mean for your users? Let's make this desktop application look like an uh, 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 like this, like a mobile application. Like no Windows, no. Please don't. Oh God, they even call other programs apps now. Um, yeah, with this horrible, horrible start where they were like, we are hip with it. Wait, <laughs> we are hip with the kids. Wait, wait uh, where's my? I can do this. I, I I need to have a shortcut for that. This is, but this is basically this is basically literally press D, press D for yeah, dabs. But exactly, but this is basically the same professionalism wow. and hipness with the kids uh, windows put uh, put out there. Um, uh, so yeah, they they already ruined Windows, but they were but then they bought Skype. This was I know how many years ago. Just remember when Skype was good. It was after they bought it. So the, uh, uh, no, after that they bought it and then it turned slowly but surely shittier with every new iteration. Like first they took your separate windows away so that you cannot no longer have multiple conversations open at the same time. Fuck you Windows. Fuck you Skype. Um, I mean not that there is another program that actually does it well. I mean not even Discord supports it. Uh, uh, you know but what it, I hate the most? What? About the new Skype? Yeah. And, and this is a small thing, but, you know, I have bear with things, me. But here. please, go ahead. Um, they don't share birthdays anymore. Oh. They well, don't. And and how don't. are we supposed to know about our friends' birthdays if we I mean, don't I have Skype I mean, I can hardly remember us? my own. 
let alone other people's birthdays. I was I relied on that to go happy birthday, and it made me look like I I actually could remember these things. Now I gotta have this like a chart and write it down. Oh, Skype. Yeah, uh, Skype. But, 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 why? Yeah. Other small small things like when you copy pasted a message in Skype for somebody else, like hey, he said this in this chat over there. Then you posted it in there. You had it with a timestamp and a name, or you were like, dude, I told you about this. And then you copy pasted your own thing, and it came with a integrated Skype edit timestamp and username. Yeah. Which, which was like, yeah, dude, here, yeah, look, evidence. It's it's not look, just you're me wrong. Copy- bam. Yeah, bam, yeah. For for, <laughs> for smartest like me, this was essential. This was my blood and life. Now I have to take screenshots. Um, what is this? Nineteen ninety eight. Uh, anyways, but the, the then the two biggest issues which actually made new Skype unusable for me for this show. First of all, down is the trend of making everything mobile applicable. So they took. The good old horizontal windows, how, how, how Skype is supposed to be viewed, like, hori- I mean, my camera is horizontal, your camera is horizontal, Keyframe's camera is horizontal. So what We're is, all horizontal. Yes, so what do we do when p- uh, three people are in a call with horizontal cameras? Make vertical views of them, like, I don't even know. I, 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 I legitimately don't know how... Fucking stupid, whatever executive ex, uh, executive over there is like, hey, because many people use Skype on mobile phones and they hold it like this, let's force a vertical view on every fucking single Skype user. That's intelligent, right? And, and so, so my question to you is then, why don't you use Discord then? What's uh, what's stopping no, you from using Discord? Because, because, because we tried formatting Discord yet last time with Nikki. But the thing is, for one thing, the screens were so hard to put together. Okay. And if you wanted to put a link to something, like your media or something in, in the, the chat, the cameras would push upwards because the chat box is getting bigger. It, it, so it, it uh, sucks the, over the, the, the uh, layout the entire time. Yeah. Yeah, the di- but then you Skype can be like, oh no, I'm drowning in chat. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the, super the annoying. The big thing was was just Discord is not integrated for live streaming. Mm. And, and here's another thing that Discord, as, as well as the new Skype have, when you pick it up with XSplit Windows, uh, window sharing, it goes black. Oh. Oh yeah, it's one of those. Oh, that sounds like a great time. Oh no, yeah, right. So it's, I, the, I, I, it's the it's the night cast. So what what I actually yeah. did last week was that I screen captured my entire screen, which has one big downside. Right now, I have Discord. Come here. I have Discord put on top of YouTube. I on on Skype. Like that's why you see the mouse cursor doing this. I'm on top of you guys with yes. another window, but it doesn't matter <laughs> because I am uh, getting my feet directly from the window. However, I needed to do basically a screen a, a, a screen capture of the entire screen so I couldn't put anything on there. And let's face it, if this would have happened a few years uh, a few weeks or months before when I only had two screens instead of three, this would have fucked me really over. Right now I have three screens so I can just park you guys in Skype over there and don't need this screen. Well, here's my central screen where I have everything that I need and there's my desk my my share screen which I Use for well sharing visuals. Literally, the without the third screen, this new Skype would have ruined not ruined but really really made g- everything a lot harder. Yes, yeah. it would no not just harder. It would have g- g- caused a drop in quality, like yeah drop because I would missing one screen. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah. So- so, so let's change but, but this to. I, but the pl- but, but oh. yeah, the the final conclusion of the story. Mm-hmm. So. We are on old Skype again, as I told you before, you can't really tell from your point of view because you just see a camera. But anyways, we are on old Skype again. Mm-hmm. And I got there by downloading an old Skype exe, uh, setup exe, uh, uploading it and uninstalling, uh, and in the process, I uninstalled new Skype. And new Skype was like, how did you vote new Skype? One star. Please explain why you voted like this. <laughs> you just Send. like this podcast. That's all you have to do. No, no, I, 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 I rented like the new Skype is shit. Like I, I, I legitimately put shit in there. Then I was this feature is gone. This feature is gone. This feature is gone. <laughs> this is new. This is all bad. Why would you do this? Send. 
So I, this sucks. I, 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 to yes. I, <laughs> it, in this particular moment, I really, I, I hope, it's probably not the case, but I really hope that this is not anonymous feedback, that they actually can see who sent it and that they contact me and talk to me. Because, motherfucker, I would like to give them uh, the talk in real life. <laughs> Got a bar Let me speak door. to your manager. <laughs> yes. Oh, you are from Skype. Oh, you want to have user feedback. <laughs> mm, <Flips>. Nice. <laughs> puts, down, puts down a thing of Jack Daniels. We're going to be here a while. Oh, yeah. Fuck those. But, Be best but, moments. Best moments. Yeah, be best moments. Uh, what about you, Ty? You started it. What's what? What has been one of your best days ever in recent memories, or just a good day you want to share? Some day. positivity. Well, okay, uh, a good day that happened somewhat recently. It was uh, right before the summer started. Uh, as you may or may not know, I'm a student, so I am trying my best to study hard. And uh, last semester, I had a, a really good report card i had a really good report card so um i was waiting for my marks i was kind of nervous because i didn't think i was going to do well and you know you always know that when you're a student you're like oh crap you know could have answered that question better or could have done that entire exam better but you know you you hope for the best right you pray to god or pray to whatever deity that you believe in and you hope for the best and you get the marks back it's like wait a minute <laughs> that says an a not a d oh i actually did well awesome <laughs> huzzah so it's that sort of like really satisfactory feeling that that entire semester, believe it or not, wasn't for waste, was not for not. And um, it's just a really nice satisfactory feeling. And like you can kind of say, like, I'll take the day easy. You know, I earned this one. It feels good. It feels really good. So, yeah, it's a um, end of semester uh, for me this year was probably my my good day. My sort of. Yes, oh. I did it. I win. All right. Uh -huh. What about. What about you, German boy? What 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 has been a happy German day? <laughs> in Germanland. In Germanland, we, we we don't have happiness over here, so it's just uh, <laughs> just, kind of just, just it, it, dead cells is my only dead cells and Archer have been my only sources of happiness. <laughs> well, one is where you literally play a corpse, and the other one is about a show where every single character is an asshole and they constantly hurt each other. So if this would be my source for happiness, this would be really really sad. <laughs> That's some Scott Pilgrim shit right there. Uh, wow. any, anything really wholesome, happy? Uh, I mean, the, I mean, on a positive note, I can say that in recent history, in general, I have been pretty like yeah, it's it's life is cool, life is life is fine. I I, I have I I enjoy my existence on this planet. Which, uh, let's face it, um, four years ago or something, I was. Also in a pretty, pretty, uh, w without any depression, without any bad spikes, but I was all, but I was in a place where I was like, eh, I, I, let, let, let's see how this continues, but if, if, if this, if, if it just stays this uneventful, I don't know, maybe, eh. anyways, but, um, but You're yeah. happy with life. Yeah, but, but but now it's it's not like I I'm not a, a joyful um, I don't you're know the joyful <laughs> colorful people who da, 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 jumps out of bed and sings happy songs. You're song, not Finn. But... You're not Finn. Yeah, yeah. I'm 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 not uh, Finny. I'm not. Um, a, a, but I'm content. I'm a posit I'm content and on a positive level. A few years ago, I was uh, uh, more like. Uh, okay, whatever. Let, let's see where yeah. this shit goes. Maybe, maybe, maybe it turns around. Uh, I believe the the sad thing was like, either something changes externally. Um, no, no. What what were my three theories where I would be in five years? Like either say change uh, or f four years. Um, f four choices. So either cha something changes externally in my life, which was like, yeah, right. This happens. I get my shit together and actually do something to become more happy, which I, maybe I did in small doses. I'm not entirely sure about it. Or number three, I learned to be satisfied with how it is going. And let's skip number four. But uh, yeah, number three is actually the one that mostly came true. So, uh, but which 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 actually was my second least favorite when I prediction back in the day. But nowadays I'm like, hey, actually. In hindsight, eh, I have a good life. I, uh, 
It's cool. Uh, it's cool. So every day is my, uh, my happiest I, day in my life. That, that, for that's, better or for that's worse. Actually, that's actually <laughs> really heartwarming coming no, from you, No, no, no. But I mean, it's, it, it is either very depressing because I don't ha experience any highs or uh, highs. But it's all, positive. But, no, but no, I no. Also it's don't positive. Experience it, it, lows. No, the thing is, it's yeah. it's kind of like a positive nihilism, you know? Yeah. Well, I guess which, which, I, which, which I don't think is a bad... You're Mr. Peanut Butter! Nah, Mr. Yeah, Mr. You're Mr. Peanut Butter without the failing marriage. <laughs> no, no, no. Mr. Peanut Butter is actually joyful. I'm not joyful. Yeah, that, I, here's a perfect example of what I said earlier. Like, I am not a happy-go-lucky person who goes into the day happy. No, I'm ex this would be Mr. Peanut Butter, and I'm exactly not that. Uh, I'm okay, too cynical okay. to... to. I, I mean, I, I still see politics and stuff, and I, they anger me, but they don't get to me on a personal level. Ah, well, all right. My happy moments. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, I just have a very, uh, solid one. I mean, the abstract one is just, uh, physically, I've gotten a lot better over the course of the year, so that's always a positive thing. I had people at BronyCon not recognize me. They had to take a double take and be like, wait, Chrissy? And I'm like, yeah, all right. Oh my <laughs> god, your hair is in green! Also, where's half of you? I just want to say, the hair color was the, the one that, uh, confused them the most. <laughs> No, that's just me doing comedics. But, um, no, I would say one of the happiest times of my life as of recent was, uh, my birthday. My 21st birthday. It oh, was friend of and it, Yeah, and it, it was not something I expected to be one of the happiest days. Because it was my first birthday without my dad. It was not... Uh, I knew that I wasn't going to be okay. But... I had some of the most fun I had that weekend and having the, the specifically like the birthday uh, dinner where it was uh, it was uh, me hit the this guy over here. Oh, wait, wait, God, these small boxes. This guy over there. Oh, wrong direction. Yeah, over there. Uh, <laughs> Lauren, Will, Katie, Brett and Lauren's brother, who is really fun. Oh, and just yeah. he's a cool dude. He he just came in. He wasn't there for like most of the most of the thing, and he was just like, "Hey, how's it going, guys?" And he was totally chill. <laughs> um, but it was so nice. Like we were just all there. There was a guy playing piano. It was just calm, and I just felt so happy. It felt good to be like, "Yeah, I don't," because this year has also been a year of me discovering a lot of stuff about what's going on up here. I don't know how everything's going to be fixed, how everything will go about. But that was that was a reminder that there's people that care about me, that I deserve to be cared about. And I forget that a lot. It's how the mind makes me think, no, they don't. They It's pity. But no, I, I look back on that uh, on on that birthday weekend and just it's one of those memories that can't be tainted. It was just happy and uh, from from the big things to the small things like going to see jumanji and stuff and 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 oh jumanji and going... is pr actually pretty good Honestly, oh yeah not shitting you and, recommending and, this yeah and going to see and going to see like a matinee thing of coco and then we walk down it's like oh my god it is pouring rain it, it was just all i can't i look back on it and i smile and i can't describe how it felt Besides, it felt good to feel loved, and I, I think that's the best feeling that you can feel. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Thank you for a lot. That was a surprisingly long question from mm -hmm. all yeah. of us. Uh, but uh, thank you from Star Flash of all people. Yeah, which 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 which, which is why I'm uh, wondering: do do we do we manage to squeeze a few more questions in as a lightning round? Yeah, we could do a lightning round. Various snake gay snake hisses asked. Great name. Uh, what Hogwarts houses it's, are you in? It's Wish Kid. I don't care. That's it. That's its name on Discord, so that's what I'm gonna pick. Uh, what? But what Hogwarts houses are you in? Slytherin. Max is a Gryffindor. Don't Slytherin. let him tell you anything. Slytherin. 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 No, he is a Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Took... No, you are a Gryffindor. You took the Pottermore test. I'm the Slytherin. I need to do it again. I, it was. See, the... I got the Borg one. I got Hufflepuff. <laughs> there. Oh. Um. Next one. Let's see. If you could have an from Unirob, if you can have an all-access pass to any convention, which one would it be? 
VidCon just so I can watch the madness. Uh, oh, VidCon does, does sound interesting. What does all uh, access encompass? If it encompasses, for example, skipping lines. You, you, you skip lines, you get to do the backstage thing where all the YouTubers have. You get to go into the lounges, no, you get to go to the if, media room. If, if there is a magical skip lines pass, then maybe even Comic Con. Because Comic Con. Oh, yeah, San, yeah, San, San Diego Comic Con. Hell isn't yeah. The, isn't the thing that you stand basically in line for an entire day for one panel, so you have to pick your panel yeah. each day? Mm. Uh, skip the line count for this simply because seeing what the shit is all about and then coming out and be like, and be, being in there be like, wow, this panel is really mediocre. I would have hated to have waited for hours for this. <laughs> Good thing I didn't. <laughs> but yeah, but this is this is my typical German speaking. I go for the most efficient use of this magical ticket. Uh, Ty, what about you? <laughs> no, yeah, for me, it'd have to be uh, the 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 big San Diego Comic Con just to be able to see like all the different things. I hear that it's like because of course I don't really get a chance to go. It's so far away from me. Mm. But at the same time, also like having that chance to see all the different things within one day or maybe two days or so, and be able to like actually like experience it without just waiting in line. That would oh, be phenomenal. Really? So Yeah, that would be cool. Good question, yeah. Rob. Uh, Very good question. Night, Nightfall the Squeak Lord asks, so what race would you be in a game? So, like, would you be a human, a demon, a vampire, a werewolf, an elf, kitsune, fox spirit, blah, 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 blah. Um, I guess if, I, if we were going the good old RPG route, um, I would probably be an elf. Some kind of furry elf. <laughs> it ha furry specifically. Furry elf. <laughs> I think I'd have to be a dwarf. I just find that, like, fun. I'd probably be a dwarf. I, I would either be a human because I'm fucking unimaginative, <laughs> or I would be a cat girl. And I would be, oh. the, the, I, I would be the naughtiest of all cat girls anime You would be the freaking seen. Killing Bites cat girl. That's what you would be. But, but in Killing Bites, isn't it a, a, a badger? No, I'm just saying you would have the style of the Killing Bites. No, 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 I'm actually talking about like real full body fur, full furry, like the, oh. the like the one from Skyrim. Uh, oh, okay. But, but a, bit, a little bit more anime, I don't know. Why, I'm also not sure why I would be a cat girl. Uh, I like how you but... specify a little more anime. <laughs> I love that. You want to be a cat girl, so you, you, I, you would I, be into you, dudes? I, I, or... I, I, I don't know, but a cat dude is like... Uh, okay, it's a dude, but he's a cat. But you get cat, to be like no, cat. no, you could be like a panther man or something. Yeah. That'd be cool. Oh, oh, oh now I'm getting me. Now I'm getting me somewhere. I'm probably still a human. <laughs> uh, but okay. And, and but then, that may, hey, then you get your whole xenophilia thing because yeah. then you get to fuck the cat girls. Oh, it? Ah, you, you got you. Yeah. Ah. I know you. I know you well, sweetie. I it's, know you it, well. It, it, it's very true. It's very true. I I would uh, so fuck the cat girls. Anyways, okay, moving then, on to the next okay. question. And, <laughs> this would be another. To the this this, this uh, would be another. Hear that, kids? <laughs> Enigma Royal Prince asks, "What is your best and wor what is your favorite and least favorite plot twist in a movie or cartoon or anime that you have seen?" My favorite is a uh, rose bean pink diamond because I fucking called it. Spoilers. <laughs> it's been out for months. It's been out I know, for I know, I know. I, I have no right to say. But, um, oh, there, there, there oh is, God, I'm trying to think. There is something with a very brilliant plot twist where I was like, wow, this is, I didn't see it coming. It was really good. What the fuck was it? I cannot recall it. I, 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 but, I do have an answer, but it's not from a movie. It's from oh, a it video could be game. A movie show, anime, it could be anything, just a yeah. plot twist. Well, uh, okay, uh, very great game, one I recommend. It's called Sleeping Dogs. It's like the, uh, I think people call it like the Chinese Grand Theft Auto. Phenomenal game. Um, and it's been out for a while, so I, I can spoil it. Um, so the guy, who, you play as like this uh, guy who's like a cop who's sort of infiltrating like this gang. And as you go along, you know, da 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 But there's this guy who sort of, like is sort of in charge of you, like your handler or whatever. He sort of gives you the missions. He gives you everything. And as it turns out, in the end, he ends up being like the bad guy. He ends up being the one who you need to stop in the end because he's causing all of the problems. Mm. And it just, I'm like, whoa, this changes everything. I because wish I killed you, him instantly, but I can't. Because you because didn't see it. Yeah. I mean, it sounds, if you just describe it, it sounds like the most average, like basically the Pixar <laughs> twist. Uh, oh, I didn't. But, I didn't do it any justice. Believe me, it's it's a long, convoluted yeah, story. Yeah, but, 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 but it's, but, but, it's but, a phenomenal I, twist. But it's so. actually the Pixar twist, but you didn't see it coming. Exactly. 
Uh, because yeah, phenomenon. I uh, obs- I, I realized by watching Coco, it's a thing. Pixar has only one type of villain. It's a helpful, nice character who's there that I that you idealize in the beginning, who then turns out to be a an outright murderous asshole. They are all murders, murderers. This is this is like Pixar. What the fuck? <laughs> Pic- Pixar More, villains are yeah. worse than Disney villains, and yeah, wow. and they always well, come all with the same twist. Yeah, worst twist. Um, the happening. <laughs> oh. I had to. I was thinking of just a twist from a Shyamalan movie. The happening has objectively the worst twist. It has been planned all along. Yep. Uh, I know there are brilliant twists out there, positive as well as bad, uh, bad ones, but I cannot recall any. I hate it. Why am I like this? I hate being like this. <laughs> Shit, any inspiration? Where are the twists? Somebody give remember me twists. When, wait, remember when Luke, I Am Your Father was an actual twist that people uh, were shocked about? St- even I am too young. I am, I am actually too young to have experienced it as a twist. For me, it was already something I knew because I got the knowledge about it so early in my life that I, the mind blow. I, even I am and too young for that, believe it or not. Wow. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, yeah. Okay, okay, one more question. The worst is... <laughs> The worst, um, the worst twist because everybody saw it coming. Max was not able to come up with one. Uh, from Denim, if you had the time, unlimited time, money, skill, whatever, there was no things in the way. Who or what would you cosplay as? I would do Sarah from Overwatch, but like full functioning suit. Not, I would go to free, the guy who makes the te- What's the guy? Who's the guy who makes the Teslas? Elon Musk. Yes, I would Elon go to Musk. Elon Musk being like, hey, buddy, Build me make a me a jetpack. <laughs> mm. Well, you're going to have to wait till I'm done with Elon Musk because I would want to be a full blown Iron Man. Ooh. Yeah. I'd want to have the whole suit and everything all working and stuff. It could probably kill me, mind you, but, but, but wouldn't it be fun just to go shoop? But, but here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If this uh-huh. would be possible, Elon Musk would have already done it for himself. You know he probably has. He probably has the Tony Stark room full of iron suits. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he just saw the movies and was like, "Nah, I don't want to uh, fight a space aliens." So it's... I just want to shoot a car into space. Uh, indeed, indeed. It's a lifestyle. Mm-hmm. But what about what about you? If you had unlimited funds, uh, I, I I might might just stay with uh, uh, Marvel and go with Doctor Strange. Ooh, that's a good one. I thought you were gonna say like a human. <laughs> I, no, I was go- I was thinking he would get Star Lord, but with a fully functioning helmet, like the helmet that just goes like. Nah, nah. I I go with Star Lord because I have the the, the like ginger, him. I have the ginger beard and everything, so it's it's and I, and I like him as a character. But if I want to go for really impressive cosplay, then uh, yeah, yeah but, but maybe maybe Doctor Strange. Yeah. Uh, I can see that. Or something oh, like God. with an actual power armor, like similar to I remember. I saw people like in actual, but the, the people already did this, like actual power armors, like Warhammer or Starcraft or something. Like, like, like oh, yeah, I'm like, exist. holy shit! <laughs> there is one other cosplay I would do, and it's uh, I don't know if you guys grew up with Spawn, Todd McFarlane oh, show. Yes, yes. Uh, Angela, Angela from the Spawn comics. I'll have to look that up. Same oh, but she she she's a awesome badass warrior, and that looks that ginger haired warrior awesome girl. Oh yeah. And that's yeah. a lot of conditioner you'd have to use. That though. is that is a matter of finding a Hollywood grade hairstylist who could put those hair implants in my hair, and also hiring a fitness person to give me that to make me ripped as hell <laughs> I just want to say, and you probably don't want to go for a 90s uh, female uh, uh, body Those i'm not going to become not no 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 yeah i'm not going to go for kate moss i don't know how she lived past the 90s and early 2000s <laughs> uh-uh. but by yeah. not <laughs> i feel like if she ate a twinkie her body may have exploded also, but, yeah, um, look here. There's a waist till here. 
Uh, yeah, well, the, this is '90s Liefeldy style, but the but uh, the design I was actually look. There's a lot of cool designs for her, and I remember seeing her in the uh, Spawn TV show. And she's actually she actually appeared in the uh, new uh, Guardians of the Galaxy show on the uh, on Disney. Ooh, and you know? um, well, yeah, she's a Marvel character. So if I had to pick something that's not Mecha, I would pick the Angela. I think she's cool. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Yeah. But, Let's see. Let's see. Um, oh, I, I, have, I have a nice one. Lupus asks, like, uh, is there any particular question or multiple questions who would you would like to get on the awkward cast? If if such a question, multiple question, would exist, uh, what would that question be? Or those and why? What the question in particular? Or those? I would simply ask it myself, like I did in the past. I, I, I felt like you spoke German at the end there. I didn't understand a lot of what you said. What? I didn't understand he, what you said. You started mumbling at the end. Oh, no. It like his, his, que tongues. his question basically was like, when there is a, a question, if there is a question you want to be asked, what question would it be and whatnot? And I was like, yeah, I would ask mm -hmm. it myself like I did in the past. Yeah. And you better and you deal would... with it. Wow. There you go. I know, Shades right? and everything. Ty, uh, how does ANY's total lack of hipness make you feel? Does it make you um, feel a particular feeling? It makes me feel young. <laughs> it makes me feel very young. It's a good feeling, though. We need to work on this new... Uh, we, we have included this in the script for the for the next How to Awkward video, right? So... <laughs> Because let me just say, all these times of them missing the opportunity is making this hella awkward. Hella, hella awkward. A and Y and Key say hi to the people in the chat. The meme I've seen on this live stream and talk about random crap. It's time for awkward cast. It's the awkward, it's the awkward. Random it's guests the awkward and funny cast. gags. It's the awkward, it's the awkward cast. The awkward artists and analysis. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You do not want to miss the awkward cast.